Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. If you happen to be browsing directly to one of your favorite websites and you notice that it's no longer your favorite website, you may think you're infected with spyware or some kind of um, insidious malware that's redirecting your browser traffic. That can happen, certainly. But uh, I got some bad news for you. It may not be an infection on your computer, but it could be a, uh, an infection, a, a, a security violation, a flaw in your DNS. Where's your DNS? Well, it's not usually on your computer. It's through your ISP. We've talked about open DNS before. It's a hosted DNS service. I recommend it wholeheartedly for a lot of reasons. We've uh, talked about why. I mean, not only will it make your internet respond faster, and I know that sounds really stupid, makes your internet faster. It's true, because uh, the way DNS works is it matches IP addresses, numbers, uh, with uh, domain names. And domain names are certainly easier to uh, you know, keep in mind rather than memorizing a string uh, of numbers. And DNS, or open DNS, helps cache it. So when you look it up once, it's quicker to find it again, and so your internet seems snappier. And it Indeed, it really is. Plus, there's a, a lot of other security features for free on OpenDNS. There's, you don't pay anything on OpenDNS.com. Yes, Wicked, I'm telling you about right now. So, uh, the problem is, is that this flaw is going after DNS, and that's not on your computer. It's, like I said, potentially through your ISP. You can protect yourself by setting your DNS to OpenDNS. Just go to OpenDNS.com and they'll give you instructions no matter what you're using. This, in, this will impact you no matter what operating system you're using, no matter what computer you're using. If you connect to the internet, you need to have DNS servers. You, like somewhere in your configuration, it needs to know how it's going to match an IP address with a domain name. It's just, do it, okay? So how do you know if you are infected now, or not, you're, not you, your computer, but your DNS settings? How do you know if they've been compromised? Head over to docspara.com. Com, D O X P A R A. Dan Kaminsky has done a, an absolutely fantastic job at explaining kind of what's going on. Um, he's also done a, a YouTube video, I believe, with his niece. is hilarious. You have to watch it. It does a, such a better job at explaining what's going on than I, I, I'm doing. But all I'm trying to do is get the word out about this. Whether you're an expert or a novice, you need to check your DNS now. If you don't want to even bother checking your DNS, you'll know you're safe if you switch to Open DNS, uh, their DNS servers. Uh, the uh, whole idea behind this is uh, really kind of scary because it's not something that you've necessarily done or not necessarily something that is in your control, which makes it all that much more important for you to spread the word about this. Link people off to docspara.com to run the test and then link them off to opendns.com. Again, free service. I've talked about it forever. i got to thank Dan. He's a, apparently a local Seattleite. He's somewhere. Love to meet up with him for coffee if he happens to catch this. So get the word out. Don't link to me necessarily. Link to these guys because uh, they've got the full scoop. I'm just a messenger. Um, I really do hope that you don't find yourself in a situation where it was too little too late. So anyway, my email address is chris at perillo.com. Uh, feel free to pass along any tips or information that you might have you know, related to this or you know, just internet safety in general. Love to share it with my community, uh, or your community, really, because we've got this live chat room that's done in conjunction with the uh, video feed. Uh, live chat room. Why did I say that? Of course it's live. Well, what are you going to have? Not live chat room? That wouldn't be a chat room. It'd just be a room. But I, we do it in conjunction with a live video feed, which is what I'm doing right now as I'm recording this live with my dog. See, Dan has a, a niece. All I have is a dog. And he doesn't say much. Working on that, too. Hey, Wicket, what do you think? He's unfazed. Anyway, you're welcome to join us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Typically talking tech at live.perillo.com. We'll see you later.